Ernest Thompson Seaton was not only instrumental in the founding of the Boy Scouts of America, but he was also a prominent fixture in the art and literature of his day. Previously, we've shared the story of Lobo, the wolf credited with changing America's perception of wolves and other predators. We've also discussed Seaton's Triumph of the Wolves painting. Today, we want to showcase the other prominent piece of Seaton artwork that we have on display here at the National Scouting Museum on this week's edition of Artifact of the Week. Seaton's painting The Pursuit portrays a scene from a story showcasing a trapper's sled being pursued by a pack of wolves. Seaton finished this piece in 1895. Seaton later published the story in Forest and Stream titled The Baron and the Wolves. In creating this image, Seaton did multiple elaborate studies of each of the 12 wolves, likely based on wolves sketched from the Paris Zoo. He also did several other studies to create the color scheme and arrangement for this piece. The painting was submitted to be displayed at the Grand Salon of Paris, one of the most prestigious art shows in Europe. Unfortunately for Seaton, the painting was rejected, much like Triumph of the Wolves would be when it was submitted years later. However, several of the art studies that Seaton did for the painting were accepted and displayed. The painting also received interest in the United States, with President Theodore Roosevelt commissioning Seaton to create a canvas of the lead wolf as well. Seaton also reused the image in the second volume of his book, Life Histories of the Northern Animal. There is much more of Seaton's artwork on display and in the collection here at the National Scouting Museum, but that's all we have time for today. Please join us again as we showcase more artifacts and objects from the National Scouting Museum Philmont Scout Ranch. <laughs>